Hello guys, it's Hazy here, back with another video, and this is gonna be a little late, like, in the new update, but it is only because of the intro kept bugging when I tried to download it on the Oculus app, but I'm not gonna waste any more time, so it's gonna be an update, just so you know, spring update, and even though most of them are in the old update, but all the glitches still work, so here we go, first, it in. See the monkey face? When it disappears, spam report. And boom. Okay, sorry. I had to accept the thing. But once you're in, you want to just press out of the X. You what I just did right there will set you up for so much. Right? You shouldn't be able to click these. You shouldn't be able to click keyboard. And I'll show you how you can do that after. And then if you turn around, this is the first mod for standalone. Invisible maps. So I'm just in a private. You won't fall through the map, but you can see everything. And it's like playing on a normal one. It's just going to be hard because you can't see. But that's the first one. Invisibility for like the map. So you can pretty much see through anything. Like if someone was going to beach or in beach, I could see them. If someone was in canyons, I could see them. If someone was in city, I can see them. Not clouds, because obvious reasons, but if someone was in ice map, I could see them. And yeah, it's pre it's just pretty fun anyways. And if there's like a final person, you can see where they are. And then for the next one, it's the hat cosmetic glitch. So this... It's kind of a glitch, but it's kind of cool because it looks like you have mods. So come over here. After you do that report thing, you shouldn't be able to click any of these normally. Then you want to go to your menu. And you want to click the report thing again. This should pop up, right? This sign. So now you can click this stuff. Anyway, you can pick any one of these to do. This will work with... Hats, face, badges, and holdables. So for hats, you want to put your finger on the report thing in between these two and these two. So in between the arrow and this one, and then in between this and this. Right here. And then after you do that, you want to click the three buttons on your left controller. So like this. And now when you move around, it'll do this. This is what I showed in... So now, once you move around, it'll do this, where it's just switching your hats. This is how I made the short, that other video. And yeah, it's just a pretty cool trick to know. And using the same type of, like, put your finger in between stuff, you can come all the way over here. I have 10,000 shiny rocks, let's go! Um, anyways, you can come over here, and you can do come over to this you want to walk forward a bit so you're able to see the keyboard in your thing and you want to click report abuse a thing again and then you'll be able to see this and you'll be able to press these buttons with when you're in the report abuse so for color you can make it zero 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 and then put your finger in between this Hold on. I fell, but put it in between this, option one and option two, and then nine and zero. This is the best one that I've found. If you guys find a better one, tell me in the comments. But for this one, click in between those two. And when you move around, when you move around, it'll change your color. But you can't see it, so... Let's go into a casual, and I'll do the glitch again and show you. Okay, and now... Okay, now that we're in a casual, see how I'm red? You move around, it'll keep switching. And it's it's not, like, the best, you know, because it could stay at a certain thing for a while. But it still changes. And it's pretty cool, because sometimes it'll actually work really well. But other times it won't work that well and it'll just like do what it's doing right now and only show black and red. But 
usually it'll do something better i cannot see so i'm just guessing if you guys find any tips on how to make it change better go ahead and feel free to tell me in the comments because i can't get up some oh my gosh i'm actually done but yeah there's that okay okay finally there's green there's green and red but yeah you can see how it's changing right here all right anyways that's the cosmetic and rgb monkey for the next glitch it is super jump so there's actually a way to get super jump if you head over to canyons and this is like a mod this is kind of like a mod you'd find on a mod menu you know so once you arrive into canyons you're gonna want to turn over here and come over to this this zip line right here i can get up here and so the thing you're gonna want to hit is right here okay so this is me jumping my highest with normal And then say I do the super jump and you can make it all the way up here now this can be really useful in canyons but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now so whenever you're doing it you're gonna want to jump on here when you jump click it so see how if I sit stand here you hear that rope pull listen so whenever you're doing the super jump you want to hit it and you rope pull and then you let go and it'll send you with a little bit of a boost so i'm gonna show another example of it real quick there's that pretty straightforward and yeah for this next glitch it's gonna give you so much energy and like make you way better at the game it's called dubby I have my own referral code down in the description that'll give you 10% off all products. Now listen to me, listen to me. Before you skip past the sponsorship, because I know you want to, Dubby is actually worth it. There is many flavors of drink, and it is all like so good. I've tried a few of their flavors. It is so good. It helps me get better at Gorilla Tag, and it helps me make content and balance the two out. They have way more than drinks as well. They have hats, shirts, merch, water bottles, and also they have bags. They have a custom made bag for Dubby. You can get 10% off using my referral code, HazyVR10. It'll be in the description. And if you don't want to use the link, you can type it in at checkout on screen up here, HazyVR10. Thank you, and let's get back onto the video. For the last and final glitch, it is a flick tag slash super tag type thing. It's not really something you can use while you're like chasing somebody, but it is something that is like, if you set it up, then it's pretty cool like trick to know how to do, you know? I'm gonna go to city cause forest is invisible. But, say someone was standing, like, right here, aligned with this. If I wanted to tag them from here, you go to your menu. And while you're in your menu, you, you want to hit the right ring of your controller. And it, like, should go out like that. And then... You want to do that in your Oculus menu till your controller reaches the point that you want to tag someone from. So let me just show you. Okay, so you saw how my controller was over here, right? So you want to do that and then you want to whenever it's over there you want to exit your menu keeping your hand on the ring so it th thinks it's still over there and then you want to align yourself your arm will look like this 
and so it'll be like completely straight and you want to align it with the person you're trying to tag so say i got it and it's over here it would tag them and i know it sounds confusing but i'll show clips of me actually doing it like honestly just right now Hazy, are you gonna talk or are you gonna all for the video guys? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It'll help me so much. Don't forget, do that sponsorship. Trust me, it's worth it. Down in the description or the code on screen, hazy underscore 10. Thank you. Have a good day.